So all you will need for kitchen tools is a big bowl and something to mix the ingredients with. So mix the following ingredients together. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using this sunflower oil. Two tablespoons of honey. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and 125 milliliters of maple syrup mixed together and now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients so now add 300 grams of rolled oats 50 gram of sunflower seeds 50 gram pumpkin seeds and 100 grams sliced almonds mix together put two baking sheets on a big tray and spread the granola Now put in the oven for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we'll take it out and add the remaining ingredients. So we're gonna use dried fruit. You can use raisins, I'm using cranberries and I'm just chopping them into small pieces. So after 15 minutes, take it out of the oven. We're gonna add the dried fruit. So I'm adding the chopped cranberries and we're adding 100 grams of the cranberries and 30 grams of coconut, shredded coconut or coconut flakes. Just gonna mix a little bit. And we're gonna put back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe check the color after 10 minutes. And you will see based on the color of the flakes if it's ready or it needs another five minutes. So now I had the granola baking for another 15 minutes and it's ready. I can see a nice color in the corners. I'm gonna get rid of the baking paper now. Just be careful that you don't burn yourself. And let the granola cool off. Once it's cooled off, I'm gonna put it in this airtight container and you can store it up to a month. So if you like this recipe, please hit the like button and also Please choose the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. My name is Nicole and my channel is Cook for the Soul. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching.